Hello, welcome to Get Your Mind On. I'm Lori Stos. I'm excited to introduce you to a new format today of Get Your Mind On. We're going to start featuring once in a while an individual who has been following Get Your Mind On and thinking about how to incorporate what they're learning in their life. So when we started Get Your Mind On, there were really three components that we'd like to uh, have you think about. One is to change the way you think. Two is to give you ideas to inspire action. And three is to give you strategies to reach higher levels of success. And today I'd like to introduce you to Robert Lockwood. He's joining us today. And I'd like to really um, just have you have a chance to meet him and really talk about how he's incorporated this in his life. So Robert, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And first, you know, I mentioned something about success. So when you think about success, what does success mean to you? Success means to me that I'm able to live my life with creativity and uh, authenticity. Uh, to be able to move forward with consistent values and convictions and uh, being inspired by, by what drives me and what, what my belief system is about. Great. Those are great, great pieces that sounds like you incorporate daily into your life. It's, uh, at this point, it's just simply natural, yes. Great, great. You know, um, we've talked before about authenticity, and mm-hmm. I know that's something that's key to you as well. Describe to me what authenticity is to you. Authenticity enables me to thrive because... I don't have to exert energy into contorting my behaviors to placate others, trying to figure out how or who they want me to be. So uh, authenticity enables me to just naturally be who I am. And through my own self-acceptance, I'm able to comfortably be in that authentic space. I love that word comfortably. And I'm sure when you do that, it's just easy. Is it it is easy? easy. Yeah, it's comfortable. So it's, yes, it is easy. So how do you incorporate that into your day-to-day life at work when you're working with uh, your clients and uh, different parts of your life? How, how are you authentic with them? Just truly by being there to serve them in terms of what's right for them. So as long as I continue to act in, uh, in faith and integrity and responsibility to do what's right for them, that enables me to naturally build trust with them. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and through that trust, I'm, I'm able to further and deepen the relationship. And, and the more that they get to know me, the more they realize that I, I am who I am. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's, uh, it's very freeing. Mm-hmm. That's great. So incorporating, you know, you, you meet with many, many people every day, every week. And I'm sure you run across people who really don't practice that authenticity. So how do you work with them when you know you're working to create your authentic self and be free and then you're partnering with someone else who really you can recognize that they're struggling with authenticity how do you how do you uh, work with them then i mean it's certainly situational depends how well i know them perhaps i'll make some observations for them to consider in terms of of uh, their response to certain challenges that come about and perhaps the way that they're responding is is one based on a typical placation, if you will. Uh, So to really encourage them to have the bravery to step out, to speak their truth. Mm. Uh, So a lot of, uh, I believe, a lot of the mass or the acts that people put on is is really driven by their own inner lack of Mm self-confidence and and, and even self-worth. I mean, it definitely ties into that and which ties into self-love. So there's, there's a lot about the self that gets reflected in terms of whether we go through life being authentic or, or acting and placating. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So when you think about giving uh, individuals advice about uh, something that they can do in their life to really follow through on authenticity and self-acceptance, what is something that you do every day or what would be a piece of advice that you would give an individual who would want to say, gosh, how do I go about that? That sounds so neat. Uh, there's, uh, to me, it begins with just gratitude. Just really taking time every, for me, every morning, expressing my gratitude for all the blessings that I have in life. I I focus on, on what I'm blessed by and not what I, by not, not by what I'm, what what I don't have. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's really just getting to a place of gratitude, which enables people to, to just naturally open up in terms of allowing their authentic selves come out. And, and if we could digress for a moment, you know, I've, I've been around you enough to understand how you go about consulting with people. And what I find is so ironic is that a lot of the coaching that you do with clients 
is really about you encouraging them to be their, their authentic selves, mm -hmm. to, to really bring about how they truly feel about a situation, have the, have the, uh, the bravery to speak out, to stand up, to, to actually put up a, a, a sense of resistance if, it's, if, if that, whatever's taking place is not congruent with their values. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's, it's really interesting how I believe that most people, particularly in corporate America, they are acting because they're 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 scared, if you will, uh, to exhibit who they naturally are for fear of of uh, of a lack of acceptance. So it's it's really interesting how here we are in the 21st century. We have to encourage people to be themselves. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, Robert, I know you've um, had a few big uh, moments for you in the past year and um, sharing some of this through writing. So yes. can you share with us a little bit about what you've been writing about um, so others can get to know you a little bit better and how these uh, values and authenticity and trust really come out in your life? Mm, yes, thank you. Um, I actually have been blessed to have written and published two books over the past uh, several months. Uh, the first one is about a, a new term which is uh, known as expansive entrepreneurship, which is really about uh, entrepreneurs building businesses that uh, operate in balance and harmony and in service to Mother Earth, to be able to live an existence on this planet where we're able to essentially continually improve. It's about continuous mm -hmm. improvement, which is a Japanese term called Kaizen. Mm -hmm. so, so really living in a place of Kaizen to be able to continually regenerate the earth, it uh, ensures that future generations ha will have a prosperous life. Mm. So that's really what the first book is about. The second book is called uh, Essence, A Gateway to the 21st Century. I'm sorry, A Gateway to the uh, 21st Century Living, which, uh, which 21st Century Living is, is really about living in a world of, of infinite free of limitations. Mm. Uh, we, we have become so constricted in our ways, so many rules and we can't do this and shouldn't do that and don't do this. And uh, so we've, we've lived in a very constrictive world for many centuries now and it, it's time that we, we, we break free of that. So essence is really about elevating people's awareness to awaken their sleeping souls so they can live in a space of, of authenticity. Mm, great, thank you. Well, when we think about uh, all these topics that we've talked about today, if you've been following Get Your Mind Down, we've talked about authenticity and trust and truth and, and values, and those are all important components of us being successful and being leaders um, and making an impact in our world today. And I think Robert's been a good example of seeing that and, and utilizing these in his, his life every day. And, you know, we all work to be better. And I'm sure all these you didn't come across once and, and just fell into your lap. You've probably been working on this for a little bit of time. It requires seeking. It, it, it does. It sure does. So when I, you know, you think about all of you uh, out there wanting to reach your goals, I remember Robert talking about these books a long time ago. Um, you know, those are all um, goals that we each have. We each have individual goals that we're working to uh, achieve. So hopefully today will, has given you a chance to uh, understand Robert a little bit more and, and how he's utilized some of these types of things in his life. And I appreciate your time today. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank, uh, thank you for having me. I You're really welcome. appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. So I hope you think about a couple things today that you can take away. Maybe go back and watch some of those videos about authenticity or values or truth or trust, anything that triggered your mind today. So we wish you much success. Thank you for joining us today. And remember to get your mind on.